Hi, good day everyone. My name is Alex. Just a very quick little video on Ubiquiti's new site site functionality called Site Magic. Uh, just as a very quick overview of what it is, essentially it's a way for you to link together your different offices. So traditionally we would have done this through site to site VPNs. Um, Ubiquiti's new site magic tool, which has just been added in the interface, uh, essentially simplifies this. So just before we get into it, I just want to quickly make a few notes about what this is supported on and what the limitations are. So currently this is only available on the UDM Pro, UDM Pro SE, Unified Dream Wall, Unified Dream Router, the regular UDM, and the UXG Pro. It is not currently supported on the USGs. Um, also, this at the moment only supports up to five sites. So if you have more sites, you will need to go for a traditional site-to-site -site VPN. Um, and then lastly, in terms of IPv6 support and administrators, so currently IPv6 is not supported for this. And unfortunately, it's not possible to add any additional administrators for this functionality right now. With that said, I just want to quickly show you guys how easy it is to actually set this up. So we're going to go to Site Magic. You'll see this in your interface. We can give this a very quick name. So what I'm trying to do is I'm linking together Leaders SA Office with Leaders WA Office. One of these sites must have a public IP address in order to proceed and I can literally just give this a name so I'm going to go site link and what I'm going to do is just select these two networks or these two devices and now once that's done I can very easily see which networks are available within these devices so this is actually pretty cool because a lot of the times you're left wondering which subnets are on which devices and you essentially don't want to have overlap between the two of them. So in this instance, I can very easily go that and say that this network, um, because it's on 172.172.255.0, it won't overlap with this one. And as a result of that, I can link these two together. So these need to be unique. And what I'm going to say, for example, is that I'm linking together this site to that site, and I'm going to link together my default network, my corporate network, and my VoIP network. And I'm going to go connect. It takes a couple seconds for this to refresh and get set up. You'll see the status of these uh, links establishing. Currently, there is no monitoring capabilities around this, and it looks like there's no features added in the interface for alerting on the site status yet, although I suspect this will come along shortly. So right now, I'm connected to the same, uh, essentially, I've connected the two sites together, and I can test this by ping devices in the different networks. So I'm currently on the SA Leader Office, and I'm going to reach across the network and go to a device which is in my default gateway on the WA office. I can do a quick ping test here. I'm going to go ping 10.0.0.1, which is the primary gateway for that office. And I can see that I can reach that site. I can take this a step further and also reach a specific device on that network as well. So if, for example, I wanted to connect to a NAS or something like that and just make sure that I can actually reach it, uh, I can take this a step further and go ping 10 dot zero dot. Let's say, for example, it's in the 10 range. So it's my corporate network, 10 dot. And I'll say my NAS is on dot 15 and I can go ahead and ping that. So essentially, I've got my SA office linked to my WA office. Um, I can also test this to see whether networks that aren't linked will actually be reachable, and it shouldn't be reachable. So what I'm going to do is I haven't linked anything in the 20 range, so I've got another uh, network set up in this environment, which is not showing currently. And you'll see it's there's no 20 support for this. I'll go 20.1. That's the primary gateway for it, and it can't reach it. So that's a quick and easy way to establish your site-to-site -site connections. Uh, I expect Ubiquiti will add a lot of functionality to this uh, in time, and I look forward to seeing where this goes. Um, importantly, just a quick note, the if you go into the, each of these consoles, it will not show up under the networking section just yet. So if you go to your traditional VPN setup methods, you'll see there's nothing listed here, just as an FYI. That being said, that's all for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this new feature. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.